In August of 2006, at 2 a.m., I awoke to find a masked man standing over my bed. I made the near fatal decision to engage and apprehend him. I am a police officer. To me, the obligation and the duty to try to apprehend this man was never in question. But I got caught lying down with my hand in a side table drawer reaching for an old service revolver. We struggled and he got to the gun first. He and I spent a good deal of time together that night. We struggled. I suffered serious injuries uh, during an assault that lasted what seemed like forever. All I had were my wits to stay alive. That night, he took more than my personal property and more than my jewelry. He took my state of being. I stayed shattered for 14 months until his arrest in October of 2007 in the midst of another home invasion. The tragedy is that the horrors this man went on to commit against other innocent people during that 14 months never had to happen. He left his bloody shirt behind at my scene when he assaulted me with his DNA all over it, but he wasn't in the DNA data bank, so he stayed free. So many horrible crimes can be stopped before they happen if we just take DNA samples from everyone convicted of these crimes. You don't have to do it for me. You do it for the pregnant woman. My attacker went on to sexually assault and brutalize. You do it for that little girl hiding in the closet trying to save her family. You do it for the man he tied up and beat so savagely, knocked his teeth out. Do it for the family whose Christmas he sold. You just do it and try to pass this law.